Back here in Lagos, as the ports account for more than 90% of import and export cargoes in the country, the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria has urged the federal government to initiate immediate expansion of other ports across the country. The Maritime Workers said this will reduce intense pressure on Lagos ports facilities and personnel. Senior correspondent Sharon Ejasson reports, and after this report, we'll bring you updates in business. Stay with us. Over the years, Port congestion remains one of the biggest challenges facing the maritime sector in Nigeria. As such, the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria wants the federal government to increase the land space and provide operational equipment and rail services that will make the port functional at maximum capacity. President General of the Union, Adewale Adenyoju, made the appeal during the National Executive Council neck meeting of the association. The event, workers alleged unfair labor practices by some shipping companies operating in Nigeria, warning them to end anti labor policies to avoid industrial unrest in the sector. We wish to note that, despite the amount of progress and improvement in port operations due to its concessioning, there are still some issues affecting the performance of the port, such as high cost charge, delay in cargo clearance, multiple taxations, and, and development of intermodal transport, and worst of all, low job creation. Even now, the Nigeria Port Authority can only account for about 4,000 or more employees as against 13,000 employed before the concerning. At the union's neck meeting in Lagos, its president general lamented that shipping companies have no regard for welfare of workers, insisting that they will no longer tolerate the practice. We must therefore begin to consider and institute a working NGIC for the shipping sector. It has therefore become important that we take an action to get respect and dignity for our members in the shipping sector. The opening of this uh, neck. We need also to make sure that we have established what we call minimum entry and minimum requirement in all other sectors, all other areas of the welfare of workers in the industry. For workers here at the Maritime Workers Union of Nigeria, after a successful neck meeting, they say the remote vessel looks towards ensuring that decent work is promoted in the sector. Sharon Jackson, TVC News, Lagos.